Mr. Blackburn, are you in here? Hello? Sir, where the police? Is there an intercom or something? I don't see one. Should I read him his rights? Monk? Sharona? Tenant? Thank you for coming. We've got a very bizarre situation here. I could use a second opinion. A third opinion. What? Well, I already told you what I thought, so this would be a third opinion. Oh, whatever, a third opinion. Who's the victim? Ian Blackburn. He's a major league record producer, and he's worked with everybody. The Stones, Springsteen, the Wait, Eagles. Yeah. Isn't he married to Chloe? Yeah, yeah, they've been married for two years. He produces all of her stuff. At least he did until 5.09 this morning. Who's Chloe? Well, she's the most famous singer on the planet. Uh, Chloe. Yeah, sure. She's great. I love that song she does about... Loving that guy, because... Look, the press hasn't gotten wind of this yet, but it won't be long. Captain? Yeah. You want to see the window? Yes, sir. He got in through here? No. He never got in. He broke the glass, set off the alarm, and that scared him away. That's probably just some neighborhood kid. Yep. That is strange. What's strange? These footprints heading toward the house. You see the whole foot he's walking. So? Look at these, heading the other way. You see the whole foot, still walking. If somebody tripped an alarm, especially a kid, you'd think they'd run away. You might be right, but it doesn't matter because whoever broke that glass never got into the house. He's not the killer. Then who is? You have a suspect? Yep. You want to meet him? It's a monkey. Actually, uh, he's a chimpanzee. His name's Darwin, he's five years old. He's been living with Mr. Blackburn since he was a baby. I mean, a baby chip. He was never a regular baby. I understand you can use tools. I know you've seen one of these before. There's a tool for you. Monk, can I run a theory by you? Sure. Suicide by monkey. Suicide by monkey? Yeah. What if Ian Blackburn trained the chimp to shoot him in the panic room? Why would he do that? So his wife could collect on the insurance. Thus, suicide by monkey. Thus, theory by monkey. Randy, Ian Blackburn had a $100,000 life insurance policy. Chloe is worth, what, $20 million? It doesn't seem worth it. You think you're pretty cute, don't you? Hey, get your fingers out of your ears. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Are you laughing at me? I said, are you laughing at me? I think you've got an attitude problem, my friend. Okay, opposable thumbs. whoop de doo Here, pick it up. There you go. What do you think of that? Randy, do you have another piece of gum? Yeah, sure. Uh oh. Is there a problem? Wrong gun. Go on, pull the trigger. Go on, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull, pull the trigger. You hungry? Huh? Bang! Come on. Captain, open the door! 
door! Oh, you got the door! Go away! Go away! I'm not done yet! I told you to leave me alone! Go away! I'm not done yet! The case is closed. Mrs. Blackburn. Chloe. Chloe Blackburn. On Sunday night, the police phoned you while they were trying to open the panic room. Yeah, I was in Dallas. At least I think it was Dallas. It's all sort of a blur. And at that time, you said that Ian probably killed himself? Ian was clinically depressed. He was in therapy and on medication. He talked about suicide all the time. Did you use the panic room a lot? Ian did. Um, he went there to meditate and to get away from the world. Maybe even to get away from me. I don't know. Look, this isn't the best time for me. The memorial service is tomorrow. Maybe we can talk next week. Well, next week's too late. They're going to put Darwin to sleep. God, that animal killed my husband. I couldn't stand having that beast around. Is that all? Um. I'm in mourning, Mr. Monk. I really need to be alone. Of course. So then, who was here last night? Um, I had a friend over. We had some wine. Well, champagne. Well, you're wearing a man's shirt. It's my husband's. Now, do you believe me? She's sleeping around. That's not a crime. In her world, it's standard operating procedure. Can't we get a court order? Adrian, they're going to put Darwin to sleep. He's innocent. Sharona, I'm sorry. There's nothing we can do. You were right about the gym. He wasn't involved at all. You were right about Chloe, too. She had a lover. They were in on it together. They killed her husband. Now, are you sure? There was a witness. Your new boyfriend, Darwin. Actually. Darwin solved the case yesterday at my apartment. My landlord came in. Darwin went berserk. Then I remembered he acted the same way on Monday. Animal control. When he saw the animal control officer. The two men have something in common. They're both bald. Bald? Darwin is afraid of bald men. Why wouldn't he be? Ian Blackburn was killed by a bald man, and Darwin saw it happen. Bald man, the, the security guy, Kurt Wolf. The man who built the panic room. When he installed it, he built a secret crawl space. It goes from the basement to the panic room. There's a secret panel behind the furnace. We found it last night. Excuse me, would you stop pointing that in my face? But you're talking. We, you can hear me talking. You don't need to see me talking. You know it's me. Thank you. He needs to see you. <sighs> okay, fine. So why? Love and money, the oldest motive in the world. Chloe met Wolf when he was doing security for her, and, and they hooked up, as the kids would say. The divorce would have cost her 10 million. So they were planning this for like a year? Exactly. Kurt didn't build the panic room to protect Ian Blackburn. He built it to kill him. The plan was to make it look like a suicide. It was a brilliant plan. That night, Wolf snuck into the panic room. He set the test alarm button. So the alarm rang, but only inside the house. That's how he lured Ian into the panic room. The plan was for Ian to be found dead the next day in a locked room. Everybody would think that he killed himself. There would be no other explanation. It was a perfect plan. 
Not quite perfect. They didn't count on one thing. Darwin. Darwin was to grab for the gun and there was a struggle. Ian was shot four times, twice in the back. Their suicide story wasn't gonna fly. So they framed Darwin. Well, it was a long shot. But what else could he do? Of course, now he had to explain what Ian was doing in the panic room. So as he left, he broke a window to make it look like a burglar tried to get in. And that's how we found it. Broken window. Killer monkey. Can we prove it? That's why we're here. It's jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. No one seems to care. Well, I do. Hey!